Hello, everyone. Welcome back. This is Zen. Really excited to be with you guys. Happy 2022. Happy New Year. I wish all of you guys a very prosperous and successful new year. Really excited to continue this journey with you guys. As you guys know, I am not a financial advisor. I am just documenting my journey with you guys. And uh, right now, I'm going to share with you guys the first Hidden Gem Sunday of the 2022 year. I'm going to be sharing with you guys Juno Network and why I'm super excited about this project. And it is the first seed I planted uh, for this year. And I'm really excited. This is a long hold for me. And uh, it's a passive income generator. So uh, let me get to some of the basics first with you guys. So uh, highly recommend all of you guys that join my website. We've been talking a lot about the internet of blockchain, Cosmos, and um, um, uh, I've been talking a lot about that with my web members. So remember, you, you guys could join my website uh, if you want to stay up to date with the behind the scenes stuff. So currently, Juno Network is uh, $10.58, and it's built off of um, uh, Cosmos. The internet of blockchain. So why am I so excited about the internet of blockchains? Well, the IBC, the internet of blockchain, just so happens to be um, basically the perfect marriage is the Interledger protocol and IBC. We have proof here. Uh, Sunny from Cosmos is giving a presentation at the Interledger protocol summit. Stefan Thomas, who built the Interledger protocol, is sitting in the front row asking many questions. I highly recommend you watch this. Uh, we also have Mikey B. Fresh from the DeFi Standard, who says ILP plus Cosmos uh, equals ultimate interoperability. So people know what's coming. <laughs> people know this collab is um, basically the core of the new financial system. Uh, mixed in with the overledger, the quantum overledger quant. Now, um, this is providing interoperable smart contracts, a Juno network. That's the utility. Quick a little introduction, the origin story. Uh, another similar thing with this Tendermint technology, it seems to always be given to the people. A lot of you guys have been seeing me post this technology will be given back to the people. And, uh, that seems to be the trend with this Tendermint technology. So the origin story, Juno originates and evolves from a community-driven initiative prompted by dozens of developers, validators, and delegators in the Cosmos ecosystem. The shared vision is a preserved neutrality, performance, and reliability of the Cosmos hub and offload smart contract deployment to a dedicated sister hub. Some of the founding principles center around inception of the world's first permissionless designated interoperable smart contract. Pioneering Cosm, Wasm, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, uh, development and adoption, eliminating common uh, smart contract L1 bottlenecks, poor scalability, non-interoperability, high fees, concentrated governance control. Sister hub to the Cosmos hub, preserving the neutrality of the hub by offloading smart contract usage congestion to a designated contract zone. Governance by Atom stakers, which become Juno stakers, stake drops were where 47% of the Genesis supply goes to Atom stakers on a one-to-one -one basis. Uh, let's go into what is Juno. Juno is an open source platform for interoperable smart contracts, which automatically execute controls or documents a procedure of relevant events and actions according to the terms of such contract or agreement to valid and useful across multiple sovereign networks. Why Juno? Juno as a sovereign blockchain in the Cosmos ecosystem aims to provide an environment for deployment of interoperable smart contracts. The network serves as a decentralized, permissionless, and censorship resistant. That's important. We want censorship resistant avenue for developers to efficiently and securely launch smart contracts using proven frameworks and compile them in various languages, rest and go. Battle tested contract models such as Cosm, Wasm allow for decentralized applications to be compiled on robust and secure multi-chain smart contracts. Additional specialized modules may be introduced at any time via chain governance. So here's the IBC. At the heart of Cosmos ecosystem is the inter-blockchain communication protocol, IBC, which sets the table for interoperable base layer zero. Layer zero, have you guys heard of that before? That's important. So we get the level playing field. 
interoperable base layer zero to now use transfer data pockets, thousands of independent networks and supporting the internet of blockchain. So I just showed you the inter interledger and internet of blockchain are gonna basically come together, two worlds collide. Naturally, the next evolutionary milestone to enable cross network smart contracts, <laughs> ridiculously bullish. This enables Juno smart contracts interoperate with IBC enabled networks, regardless of uh, WASM support an external network. It also has a Cosmos SDK. Juno blockchain is built using the Cosmos SDK framework, a generalized framework that simplifies the process of building secure blockchain applications atop of Tendermint BFT. It is based on two major principles, modal, uh, modularity and capability-based security. Also Tendermint. Tendermint agreement on the network reach, Tendermint BFT consensus. Tendermint BFT is a solution packages, the network consensus layer. Um, that's what Solo is adopting. Um, Solo is adopting Tendermint. So really cool. Also staking. So currently uh, I'm getting 128% uh, APR with this coin staking my Juno. It is a little bit more advanced. So this is a more advanced process to stake your Juno. Uh, you will need a Kepler wallet first, K-E-P-L-R. Uh, one of the Kings created a, 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 a document that I'll put in the link that will have a full instruction on how to get started. Uh, this token currently is at the moment inflationary and 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 also you're making a ton of rewards so it should make up for it uh, i believe this is ranked let me see Not working. There it is. So yeah, this is ranked 2,971 on CoinMarketCap.com. So it's definitely a small hidden gem, and uh, there is staking opportunities. So uh, that's why I planted some seeds for uh, 2022, and I'm gonna come back next year, 2023, after these. Um, after and, and, and check back and you could actually compound your rewards the whole way through just like flair so there's different delegators that you're going to vote to we could get more into that in the future different delegators that you vote to that that pay you and then basically anytime you want you uh take your rewards and compound them back into what you're staking and you just keep doing that over and over again so uh, I'm in this for the long run. I'm excited. Uh, honestly, just put some, uh, put a stash in. I'm gonna forget about it. And uh, I'm, I'm in this project for the long run. Also love the symbolism behind it. Uh, the Juno goddess, goddess of love and marriage. So you could see uh, they're using the Juno goddess symbolism in, uh, in this. So there you guys have it. Uh, I suggest you do a lot more of your own research. I'm just putting this out for the world. Uh, like I said, just documenting my journey, but you guys should look a lot more deeper into it. Now I'll bring up a few more things that they have coming out. Where was it? So um, where did the list go? So this is what they have coming up that will go live in Q1 of 2022. So they have an NFT marketplace coming Q1. They have a hard money protocol coming. They have a uh, stake drop airdrop tooling, a DEX and automated markets coming to Juno. Uh, they have a bunch of stuff coming to Juno and it's all community led. 
Let's read what uh, Wolf Contract says. What is Juno? Simple introduction. Juno is a sovereign blockchain in the Cosmos ecosystem. Ecosystem is primary specialization is permissionless deployment of interoperable cross-chain smart contracts. Juno is home of, uh, we, I think we read a lot of that. There is no central entity controlling Juno. Instead, all efforts are led by the community. This includes making decisions via on-chain governance to shape the direction, building sustainable value, dApps, tolling, providing liquidity on DEXs. So I believe that's going to be like how Corium is. So you see that we're going through a lot of mental tests with the Corium airdrop because it's using similar technology and we, the people, have to govern technology like Juno. So when you have Juno in your Cosmotation wallet, you look that you also have... Um, um, you have to make decisions. You have to vote on updates and things like, like Wolf Contract is saying. So we need smart people to, um, to uh, hold these, these coins. So this whole ecosystem is fueled by the community strength. So you could join their Telegram, get involved with the community. And uh, if you like it, uh, do more research into it in the description. There will be instructions on how to get set up if you choose to uh, participate. Please just remember, uh, this is not financial advice. I'm just sharing my life on YouTube. And yeah, that's all I have for you guys. Have an awesome day and peace.